you are ready to apply for a job or internship, but you haven't looked at your resume in a while, or ever, where do you start? It is important that you know the purpose of your resume. The purpose of your resume is not to get the job, it is to get the interview. Did you know it takes an employer an average of six seconds to look at your resume and decide if it's worth a further look? If you make it past this point, you are getting closer to the finish line, which is the interview. As a recruiter or hiring manager, you may see hundreds of resumes for one position. What resumes stand out? Resumes that are well formatted. What does it take to make a well formatted resume? Font size and type are important. Use 10 to 12 size font, no less, no more. Don't get fancy with font types. Classics such as Times New Roman or Calibri are your best choice. Margins matter. Don't go smaller than half an inch or it looks like you are trying to shove too much onto one page. And do not make them larger than one inch or else it will seem like you are trying to stretch what you have written. It's easy to go overboard with bolds and italics. Only bold your name and headings. You should italicize the job title or title of the project you completed. Consistency in how you format your place of employment, job titles, dates, margins, and spelling all matter. Do not abbreviate or use slang. You want to make the best impression possible. Now that you have your formatting squared away, what's next? Content. The purpose of your resume is to get the interview. In order to get an interview, you must show that you have the qualifications for the position. You want to be sure that your resume reflects the four C's. Competency, communication, collaboration, and critical thinking skills. Your bullets, let's call them impact statements, need to be detailed and provide evidence of your experience. Helped raise $5,000 for THON, which raised a grand total of $12 million that year to support research and treatment for children with pediatric cancer? Put that on your resume. It's detailed and shows you made an impact. When you think about what to put in your resume, you need to ask, what impact did I have? What did I accomplish? Be specific. You must quantify your experience with facts and numbers and qualify your experience with descriptive language that shows you utilize the four C's. Don't hesitate to include proper names of events, projects, and possibly even people. It depends on the context, but less is not more when describing your experience. Do not list your four C's in a separate skills section. Your bullet should prove these soft skills. If you have any hard skills relevant to the position, then you should have a separate skills section. So think to yourself, do I have any specific teachable abilities that are assets to this position? Do you have knowledge in specific computer programming language or engineering software? List the programs you know how to use. C++, Java, MATLAB, AutoCAD. Do you have CPR certification and are applying for an internship in a healthcare or school setting? Be sure you include it. Do you speak one or more languages other than English? List them. Even if the job doesn't require a foreign language, it is a huge asset. Be sure you share your ability. Last but not least, make sure that your resume is specific to the position and company to which you are applying. Your resume should reflect experience that is relevant to the job and should include keywords that are found in the job description. Before you send your resume, be sure to proofread it multiple times and ask someone else to proofread it too. For sample resumes and additional resources, visit the Penn State Lehigh Valley Career Services website.